Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about identifying and benchmarking your computer. Now if you don't know what that means, basically there's software out there that can tell you loads of things about the things inside of your computer and also the software on your computer and like things like product keys and things like that. And benchmarking is testing your computer and you can then compare it against other people's computers to see if yours is performing as well as theirs. So let's begin, these are all free tools. We're gonna to go to Bellark Advisor. Now it says, preparing to analyze this computer. Would you like to check for new advisor security definitions? For the time being, I'm just gonna say no. So what this does is makes a sort of a profile for my computer and puts it into a web page, a local thing on my web page. So this then says things like my operating system, processor, drives, users, uh, all these bus adapters and things like graphics and printers and my drives and even the slots that I have free on in with my memory. So those are things I've got here, other devices, I've got my webcam and printers and things like that, and networks, and shows me all the missing security fixes that I have, that I need, which is probably quite a few, and any other updates that I have on my computer. Now, what I found, I won't go down any further, because what I found amusing was you can find the product keys for your software, and some people were doing benchmarks and uploading their profiles to their web server so you could google for um, Bellark Advisor current profile, I'm not sure if you can do it now actually but you used to be able to go Bellark Advisor current profile and then you'd see someone's profile and because they have product keys on them people were nicking them um, so for example this one, this one has I don't think this one says it actually removed. Um, they've cottoned on to the fact that you could do it but uh, you used to be able to check these out and it used to tell you all the product keys and you could just, here we go, Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition and it's got the key for it. So you could just copy this and put it into your own version of Windows XP and that's what people did. <laughs> so some people were stupid enough to upload their things to their web servers. So I strongly advise if you do do this that you don't upload it to a web server because you'll be giving away your product key for your Windows version. So that is Bellark Advisor. So very useful tool for identifying those things in your computer. Next up is CPU-Z or CPU-Z, whichever you want to say. This tells me lots of things about the processor on my computer. The processor is the core thing that does all the calculations that makes your computer uh, run fast. So I'm using a Core 2 Duo E6550 and it tells me technology and the instructions. This can be useful for if you're trying to uh, get certain specific operating systems to work if they support SSE3 or something like that. And I'm emulating 64-bit so I can have Windows Vista 64-bit. This might be handy for people who want to try out 64-bit operating systems. Just make sure... You've got mail. Sorry about that. Um, just make sure it says 64-bit software on it or 64-bit uh, EM64T or it might say AMD and then 64 on the corner. So It also says I've got two cores and two threads. Now another thing I've, uh, I haven't... Um, didn't really need this or anything so it says about my main board I'm using Asus Tech main board PCI Express X16 um, the one thing I thought was very useful was the uh, memory now it says the DDR2 uh, it doesn't appear to say it on this oh no it says it on the next bit <laughs> so it's DDR2 RAM I've got 2 megabytes in dual channel mode um, this might not mean a lot to some people but it's the main thing you want is the next bit which shows you the maximum bandwidth for your RAM so you see it says PC2-5300, I use PC2-5300 RAM. So this is useful if you want to go out and get a stick of RAM for your computer and you don't know the codes for it, this is your the one you'll be looking for. So if I want to get, for example, um, another, put another two gigs, I've got another two slots free, um, put them in my computer, uh, I then go out and look for PC2-5300 one gigabyte sticks and then I can put them in the back of the computer. So CPU-Z is useful for finding that information. And uh, you can also upload your results, I think. Uh, somewhere, HTML dump or something like that. You can upload your results to the internet and compare it against other people's and then see the fastest one ever or anything like that. Um, next up is Nova Bench. Now there are things, I think it's called Passmark and things like that, that can benchmark your system and compare it to other people's. But they're not free. You can have trials, but they're not free. 
So I'm going to run Nova Bench 2. This is a freeware piece of software. If you know a better one than this, then let me know. But this seems to be quite simple to use, which I like. I like simplicity. So Nova Bench 2, start benchmarks, benchmark tests for accurate results. Please close other programs before continuing. Well, I can't. I need to use uh, Cam Studio. So I'll just leave this going anyway. So you see it runs various tests. That's a processor test. It's going to do loads of things. And once it's done, it will give me a score. And then it will compare the score against other people online. So this might be useful for checking if your computer is not running at its optimized speed. So it's running a graphics test now. Let's see if it's running it optimized. And if it's not, then there's obviously an issue with your computer. So once this is done, uh, this shows me all my system at the bottom. I have a benchmark score of 237. So I'm using XP, I've got E6550. Uh, t 2 gig of RAM and loads of things like that. My graphics gets a massive 2. Um, so you can save these results or you can compare them online. I'm going to click compare online and it says Nova Bench Score Finder and it's showing me related systems that other people have used with this software and uploaded their results. So I'm using a Core 2 Duo E6550 and there's a guy who's using the same processor as me who's running slightly faster in megahertz using Vista and an ATI graphics card and he's got more than me so I don't know so you can compare it against other people's systems so 238 a guy with a Core 2 Duo T7300 with a decent graphics card so you you can compare you might want to download this um, I got 237 what score did your computer get let me know and the final thing is speedtest.net now this is just a website you can, uh, lots of people have used this before, you can just basically test your internet connection. Um, lately, a lot of, uh, you can see how many global tests here. Lately, a lot of people have been ha having something called traffic shaping or capping, is what we call it. Um, basically, they limit your, your connection if you download too much, and um, that's about it really. So, uh, I'm going to perform a speed test on my connection. It's not going to be very fast, I know it won't, because I've never had a decent score here even though I'm supposed to have 8 megabyte broadband but hey whatever so test using recommend the server yes I'm going to do that I'm going to use Maidenhead in the United Kingdom which is where I am just going to click it and you can see that it's started I've got a 57 millisecond ping wow that's actually faster than I thought it would be so I'm getting just about 5 megabytes at the moment a 5 megabyte connection now don't mistake this for actual kilobytes per second, this is kilobits, kilobytes means um, I'll be able to download it about 500 kilobytes a second. So it's just to analyse that, and it's now doing my upload speed, so how much I can transfer to other people, and you'll notice it's not very good. So that is my connection at the moment, <laughs> so it's not very good, but hey, what can you do? And you can then um, you can compare it. They save your scores on here, and you can also share it on forums and MySpace, and if you really want to do that, so you can compare your results to others again. So this is a more of an internet benchmarking thing. You can see um, that is mine. I'm not sure if I, where how, how I'm going to compare it. Oh, there's loads of options at the top here that you can do. So what it can do also is remember your um, results that you've done previously, and then. Um, show you and also it's got loads of things how, how your download speed compares my average is 4785 and uh, various things here which might interest you but anyway um, this these are benchmarking and identifying pieces of software which may come in useful uh, may not but thanks for watching my video um, please rate comment subscribe do what you like <laughs> thanks again <laughs>